let's go to TV though. It has its yeah. place. You guys cleaned up at Cannes last year, and you no, know, we're a coming lot of, there. Ninety-three Lions, <laughs> I think, is uh, cleaning up. But yeah. um, and you guys have created some great TV spots, and it's comedic VW work, yeah. um, touching. You know, the staying up spot for McDonald's. And again, I think at the end of the day, or at the beginning of the process, the approach or how we are defining creativity is to come up with the most innovative solution for a client's problem. And we try to find at least a human insight all the time. It's about being relevant. Yeah. And te- if you tell a story around that, it should be relevant to the people. So that's the whole foundation of Volkswagen. It's about being human, being authentic, and touching very people. Human spot. And that's still the formula for Volkswagen advertising. Not only in the old traditional way, but if you look at the digital field where we are doing or developing apps, it's still there. A mobile app for Volkswagen has the same ingredients like you see in the TV ads uh, that we've done in the last 30 years. So it will not change, but I think TV is still a powerful way of communicating. And what my worry is that a lot of people, because of the whole bullshit bingo and trends which are going, are losing the focus. And if you want to do TV or film, you should do it in an amazing way. And it sh- you should look at it as a piece of art of salesmanship and do whatever you can do to, to perfect it. And it loses a little bit, not only in our agency, yeah. but in our industry. Right. Because the, if you would say what are the, where the most innovative ideas are coming up, it's more in the digital field, the mobile field, right. or innovation field, but not in the traditional advertising. Yeah. We, we, did, we used to do what, the first interactive ad which won the Grand Prix in Cannes in the film category five years ago for Philips, where we did an interactive film, and there was a huge discussion back then in the film category in Cannes if it should be a film and be judged as a film because it was interactive, uh, the whole user interaction. And the all borders stuff. are being blurred in categories like yeah, that. Yeah, exactly. So, um, no, no, but I think we, we, can, we can focus more on the craftsmanship part of it without losing, again, the essence of what we should do every day. You said something really intriguing about, you know, story is always important and being able to make that emotional attachment, but you put it in the context of an app you develop for Volkswagen. Mm. No, the question is how you're defining a story. To me, story is not a story that you're telling. The story is, is it something substantial that adds value to the life of the people? Right. And they tell the story by themselves. So as I am said, creating relevance means you can start with product development on the one side of it, and you can end with traditional advertising on the other side of it. The problem is, at the moment, 99% of all the agencies are still there. And again, I'm not <laughs> saying that I know we will know more about car industry than Volkswagen. We will never do. But we know more about human insights, and we know more about how we can create relevance in existing products or changing services in a way that they are making sense to the life of the people. And we should focus more on that because then we are elevating up our role uh, to a position where you are too consultant to a client and not only an execution part, delivering advertising. Right. And I'm not saying delivering advertising is a wrong thing. I love doing it. I'm doing it more than 30 years. But again, I think we should redefine and use our creativity in a different way.